don't understand is when someone with a lazy eye starts being shady towards someone else about them on another person. The F. What up, everyone? It's your boy, Martin Lewis. So, team Real, welcome to my channel where I call out fake ass bitches and talk about YouTube drama. Now, if you want me to do my intro in my next video, you better run this video to 1,000 likes. So let's get into it, right? I'm watching the tea room. What's up, tea room? And I see that Danny, the entrepreneur, reposted some eight shady ish. Check it out. Also, felt like she was shading Carmen because she reposted something on Instagram that someone posted that stated like she not shitting on Carmen. Now, hey. Maybe she didn't look and it was a mistake, but I highly doubt that. She didn't say anything. She wasn't like, whoops. And due to all the backlash, this is what she said. Raleigh. Well, Miss Danny released a full statement because she was tired of all the negativity she was getting after posting up with Corey. So then she goes on to say, one thing I hate is... Yo, she wrote a whole, a whole page of a book. Activity, but let me just enlighten y'all on who the F I am. I clearly Yes, you also put negativity out too. You're very fake. It's not very demure. It's very giving. Oh, I don't like negativity, but I will put it out. I just don't like it. I, I can dish it, but not take it. So that's what's going to happen. You are being mean, being an asshole. You posted that ish on your Instagram. It don't look like you apologized for it. And now people are calling you out. And not only for that, but also because you're hanging out with Corey the fraud. Which she's a fraud. We're going to get into that later on. Let's keep watching. You don't give a F about what the next person say because I literally be laughing at y'all for real, for real. Secondly, an mf -a ain't never put their hands on me. And yeah, she don't care, but she wrote a whole book on her Instagram story, man, with her, her lazy eyelid. If they do, I guarantee you that we won't be going live. We'll both be in the cell together. Thirdly, whatever the F we go through, it won't hit the media because I don't need validation or clout from the media. And I don't need a sad story to run my views up. To get paid because I'm paid in real life without the media. Fourth, according to my businesses, B-Words have been hating on me my whole life. And I stood on that shit ten toes down. And that's why you like hating on other people, I guess. You turn into the people that were hating on you. I don't know. So let's just remember what she stated here. That she won't be going to the media if anything occurs between her and Corey. But anyways. Corey will though. <laughs> he will go on media and go live for two hours, an hour. She also goes on to say, I went from 1 million to 14 million plus and invested that ish. And none of my investments were Congratulations. the media. I can't lose the contracts. I own the contracts. My mental health facilities require the government, not the media. As a tax service bureau with 32 tax offices, Ooh. the government cut my checks, not the media. Okay. My fleet okay. of trucks are on government contracts. <laughs> she flexing on the grand. It's so funny. I love it. So they pay me, not the media. My farm is paid by the government as well, not the media. And my two franchises, Smoothie King and the Peach Cobbler Factory, are paid through the companies, not the media. I make friends with the government, not the media. And so she put in the people in check that were coming for her saying that she all doing this for publicity and stuff like that. Maybe not so, but it wouldn't surprise me if she's taking advantage of it, you know, to run those numbers up a bit. And the because there is a reason why you were paying celebrities, etc. to host your show. Because you know it brings numbers. So let's not act dumb now. Let's continue. Government ain't sitting on the media waiting for the next story. We sitting at tables buying businesses and franchises. So now you guys remember when I spoke- Okay, so this, this, you have to check this, okay? We did talk about the cash up situation and uh, Maddie saying that Corey had been um, not cash. Basically, it concluded that hey, he's not cash apping y'all. He's scamming. He used a fake cash app, right? Well, the cash app app exists, even though I can't find it. 
because he had been sending money to nobody. And when I made my video, no one reached out to me and said, hey, Corey does pay me, Martin. No one reached out to me, man. So I'm just like, okay. I guess he don't be giving people money. Y'all never heard of the app? <laughs> now, I noticed that every time Corey would post these cash apps, he would cover half of the name because I did try to look them up to see if he was actually sending them money. On hmm, isn't that interesting? Corey could be like, yeah, comment your cash app below, but then he will hide it in a post. Okay, why? Well, yesterday when he was on Facebook Live, he showed his screen and you can actually see the full name. So now, obviously, Corey didn't mean to do this. He kind of flashed the phone at the camera. Okay, look, there's one name. Let, 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 let's just have a look. Let's just have a look. Okay. Cash up. Dollar sign. Nikki. Four three five. There's a Nikki four three five three. <laughs> and of course, you can screenshot and see who's actually sending money to. There now, is no Nikki four three five. Look up who these people actually to. Now, one of my supporters actually did look up who these people actually were on Cash App to see if Corey really sent them a thousand dollars and as you can see here both of these cash apps that corey posted don't even exist in cash app <laughs> y'all that is embarrassing why would you pretend to send money to people y'all he tried to be like these rappers when they're renting furniture but they have you like they have money when they don't this is so embarrassing <laughs> Bro, I feel secondhand embarrassment. Imagine running on the internet saying that you're so amazing, you're cash happy people, but you not doing shit. Now, I know he's gonna turn around and say, I, I, I would think Charlie anyway. He's gonna make up some excuse to looking like an idiot on the internet. But, bro, that is embarrassing. Now, my question is. Is he getting you guys to comment your cash ups under his video? Because if he does, then this is clearly BS. He's doing it to increase engagement so he can fake cash up you guys. And he, you know what I'm saying? So I am curious, like, wow, you, you really sit there and send one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, couple of numbers to people like you really sat there all day just to make it look like you gave that amount of money to all those people when you didn't. Yo, that's embarrassing. What about maybe one of them's real? So yeah, I don't know if he's taking advantage of his audience telling them to give a comment so he can cash up you guys. Or if he's just using this to make himself look so good, to make himself look rich with these fake cash apps. But anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in another drama video.